Greetings. My name is Tim Stark. I'm a professor of civil engineering here at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. We, we are making recordings of the common test methods used to measure the index and engineering properties of geomembranes. Today, the video is on ASTM D5199 standard test method for measuring the nominal thickness of geosynthetics. The nominal thickness of geosynthetics is determined by observing the distance between two parallel surfaces, as you see here with this device, which I'll explain in a minute. And the thickness is one of the basic physical pro properties used to evaluate the quality and qu of the geosynthetics. The device has a digital dial gauge with a flat pad on the bottom of the dial gauge, and that reacts on a flat surface below it. And this means that 5199 is used for only smooth geomembranes, not textured geomembranes. Textured geomembranes are tested using 5994, which there's also a video for. To obtain samples, a full width of the geomembrane is cut from the roll, either at the manufacturing site or in the field. And then specimens are obtained from the full width of the roll. The specimens are not are obtained outside of four inches from the edge, so not right at the edge. Ten specimens are tested in D5199. I have five such specimens cut from a full width of a smooth geomembrane. In this particular case, 30 mil polyvinyl chloride geomembrane. Each specimen is placed in the device. First, the device is zeroed, so it reads zero, zero right now, and then the geomembrane is placed in. The geomembrane is just lightly held in place for five seconds, and the digital dial gauge is read in this particular case, 0 0.728. That's specimen number one. The digital dial gauge is raised. It's let down to make sure it's still reading zero. It is, so I do not have to read zero the digital dial gauge. And now the second specimen is inserted in. I hold a finger just under it so the geomembrane doesn't tip and affect the thickness. And this geomembrane measures a thickness of 0 0.726 millimeters. That specimen is removed. The digital dial gauge is checked so it returns to zero. And the third specimen is inserted. A finger is held just under a corner to keep it steady. Wait five seconds. And this thickness is 0 0.744. That specimen's removed. The fourth specimen is inserted. And these values are recorded on a data sheet like the one that's shown over here. There are 10 specimens, and the thickness is placed in this column, and then an average is taken of the 10 measurements. The fourth thickness is 0 0.728 millimeters, and the fifth, which will be the final one that I'll demonstrate in this video, the dial gauge is still at zero, the fifth specimen yields a thickness of 0 0.740. So, to comply with ASTM D5199, <clears throat> I would run five more specimens from across the width of the geomembrane, enter those on this data sheet in this column here, and then an average entered. The average for the five specimens that I just tested is 0 0.733. That is a demonstration of ASTM D5199 
standard test method for measuring the nominal thickness of geosynthetics. One other important aspect of this test method is I used procedure B as in boy because we were measuring the thickness of geomembranes, not other geosynthetics. Procedures A and C are for other types of geosynthetics. Procedure B, ASTM D5199. If you have any questions, you can contact me at the University of Illinois or the Fabricated Geomembrane Institute at fabricatedgeomembrane at gmail.com.